Welcome to video number two on having fun with the Arduino. Well, now that we have our Arduino up and running via video one, it's getting time to write our first own code. Let's set ourselves a goal and that goal could be to turn on, switch on this onboard LED over here by using a push button. Let me already show the result over here. I have my very own personal James Bond bomb detonation device, <laughs> which I uh, built many years ago in an old uh, film tube. Uh, and I used it to uh, remotely trigger my camera on a tripod. Well, that is all ancient history, but right now I can conveniently use this push button. And look what happens if I press it, the onboard LED turns on and off again of course that's the goal it's not exactly rocket science but it will bring us to having a look at digital input and digital output so what we need obviously is a push button and let's simply connect that to pin 2 and any other pin will do but we have to make a choice and the question now is where to connect the other end of the push button to well, let's have a little look at how the Arduino is powered. Uh, it has two options. Uh, one is to connect your USB cable and then it will work on the 5 volt from your USB out of your computer. The other alternative is to connect a uh, battery, a 9 volt battery or an 8 to 16 volt is your choice uh, power adapter and connect that over here to this uh, input. Uh, by the way, you can safely connect both of those at the same time because there's a, a switch on the board that prevents the power from this adapter to damage your computer. Uh, however, if you power it from an uh, 8 to 16 volt, uh, onboard circuitry will again bring that back down to 5 volt because the processor operates on 5 volt. And that is why uh, we need to use either zero or ground or five volt. The ground will be uh, in the software logically low and the five volt in the software will be our logic high. And there are conveniently a couple of places uh, on the board where we can connect ground or five volt to external equipment. So we have to make a choice to either connect our push button to ground or to 5 volt. Well, let's make the choice to connect it to ground and connect it to pin 2 and write the code for that. Okay, the program is started. Let's first make a couple of changes here in the file preferences. I like to use a much larger font size and I always like to switch on the line number. So let's do that. Click OK and then we can read it. An empty program, a new one, has two parts. As we see the set up part is the part that runs only once and that is where we are going to do our pin configuration. We want pin 2 to become an input because our push button is connected to it. And the command for that is pin mode. Yeah, we, we need to use that capital M. Then uh, parenthesis, uh, number of the pin was two and the type was input. Parenthesis and then a semicolon. Every line of code for the Arduino needs to end with a semicolon. Okay, the input is done. Now we have the onboard LED that is uh, on output pin number 13. It's hardwired, so we don't have a choice. We need pin 13 to become an output. Pin mode 13 output. Oops, yeah. Oh, by the way, if, if I make a typo like this, you see that... Uh, the color stays black uh, and if I use a word that it recognizes it gets a color either, either reddish or bluish. That means that uh, you can see already if you made a typo or a mistake. 
Oké, okay, our configuration is done. I have pin 2 as an input, pin 13 as an output. Let's go on to the logic that we want to have. Here in the loop, that's where we put the code that has to run repeatedly, indefinitely. And the logic is uh, the following. If pin 2 is low, pin 13 must become high. And if pin 2 is high, pin 13 must become low. Well, I almost already said it, let's just write it down. But the only question is, what is the command to read a digital pin? Well, that's easy. Uh, that command is digital read. Uh, again, we need this capital uh, R. Uh, don't ask me why, that has some historical reasons apparently in uh, software coding. Uh, it makes that you uh, never remember what exactly, where exactly the uh, capitals need to be. But uh, when you get some experience, you, you just know. If digital read is low, and now there's another thing, why do I need to use a double uh, is sign, equal sign? Well, that's because uh, the single equal sign is allocated to variable assignments and the double sign is what we use when we have to do a comparison. Uh, it's just uh, is something that we need to remember. Uh, I need in another parenthesis if digital read is low what needs to happen then we need to write digital write pin 13 comma high semicolon at the end. Oh, I made a mistake here, that high needs to be all capitals. Yeah, it's green now. If digital read 2 is low, digital write 13 becomes high. Well, that sounds good. And now else, so that means if digital read is not low, else we do the same, digital write, I can copy and paste that, that is a little bit quicker copy and paste, uh, but then of course we want the high to become a low so that the our LED switches off. Well, this is the code, it's as simple as that, only two lines actually. Uh, well, let's try it out. I am going to press this button over here. Oh, what is happening? It wants to save it first. Well, let's do that. Uh, yeah, my, my uh, upload here is uh, running. Uh, yeah, we can see the uh, LED blinking now a little bit, maybe already. Yeah, it takes a while. I don't know why. Yeah, now my LEDs are blinking. And uh, oops, my LED is already on while uh, I have not already pushed my switch. Uh, I can press the button, I, maybe if you see it on the video, I don't know, but if I press it, it becomes a little bit more bright, uh, but something is terribly wrong. What heaven on earth is going wrong? Well, I cannot find any error in the logic over here, so it can't be that. There must be something wrong elsewhere. Well, for that we have to go back to our uh, diagram. And we can see that pin 2 is connected to ground when we press the button. But when we release the button, pin 2 is not connected to anything. It's floating. And it is never a good idea to leave an input pin floating because then we don't know what the state is. It can read a 0 or a 1 or yeah, that depends on interference or accidental circumstances, I don't know. So what we need to do is to always have a pin connected to either 0 or 5 volt, depending on uh, where our switch is connected to. If I switch to ground, then pin 2 is hardwired to ground. If I open the switch, then via this resistor, that's called a pull up resistor because it pulls up the pin to 5 volt. And that's what we need to do to avoid the pin to be floating. Uh, suppose that you have uh, another situation where you connect uh, the push button to 5 volt, then you need a pull down resistor that pulls your voltage down to ground. Never leave a pin floating. So uh, if we have uh, another look, and what we need to do is either add a resistor or 
luckily the Arduino comes to rescue. We do not need another set of wiring or whatever. The Arduino has an internal pull-up resistor built in. The only thing is it is not switched on by default. We need to switch it on in our configuration of the input pin. And that actually is quite easy to activate the internal pull up resistor. We simply add over here to the pin mode statement the pull up text. And uh, yeah, don't forget this uh, underscore here. Uh, our pin 2 now has the is an input with the pull up resistor connected. Let's Upload this code again. There we are. Uh, yeah, it has started uh, uploading. Uh, yeah, let's are bleeping. Yes, now my LED is off, and that is the state that it should be in. Uh, and I can click it. Yes, now my code is working perfectly well. Well, uh, we can pat ourselves on the shoulder. We wrote our first code. Uh, we use the pin mode statement to configure an input or an output. We used digital read, we used digital write, and we even threw in an if else statement. That's already quite a lot. Well, uh, the next uh, video will be about uh, making this program a bit more flexible and then we are only also going to use in, uh, some hardware have our own external LED connected. Maybe see you back there. Bye bye.